Could grain growers achieve earlier plantings by establishing crops like corn and sorghum under plastic? The question is well on the way to being answered by trial plots on Ian Haylor's Queensland property southwest of Dolby, where a field day was told of the pros and cons resulting from a July planting program. What we're showing here, what we're really doing is trying to have a look at alternatives um, because we actually got grain crops that uh, are having sometimes heat stress coming into January. So when the CRC for polymers asked us whether plastic had a fit in broad acre agriculture, we said we won't know until we try. So that's what we're having doing. We're having a look at it and we're just seeing whether we can get, uh, whether there is an option for plastic in things like sorghum and corn. Okay. And what's the take home message do you think? Well I think actually I'm not sure whether it's still very early days for the benefit of the plastic but one of the things that surprised us uh, and what we've learned out of it is that we, we grew a crop of sorghum starting in July and corn growing in July. So even though they're a little bit behind uh, having been grown under the plastic, they actually did survive and actually coming up quite well and yielding quite well. The corn's yielding about 5.5 5 5 tonnes. Uh, so and these were uh, crops that were planted uh, around about mid-July. And uh, is cost a factor? At this stage, uh, it's probably too early to actually get a, uh, a cost factor on the on the on the plastic. Uh, but certainly, the the things that we've learnt about uh, being able to grow early is going to give us some options uh, in terms of when we plant, and uh, it and means that if the moisture is there and we can plant, we may be able to plant a lot earlier than uh, than we normally uh, would.